for close to two weeks. Mitiana MP Francis Ake has lain in critical condition at Lubago Hospital in Kampala, where he was dumped by unknown people. Police reportedly wrote to Lubago Hospital Management to have him transferred to Mulago Hospital, though his family say they are ready to fly him to India for specialized treatment. The family has uh, decided to take up the bills because uh, after all life is most precious. If you wait for the government to sponsor and ensure that they do the, the, the need for if they are not forthcoming, then you have to, uh, to, to devise other means. The chairperson of Kampala City Traders Association, Kasita Ivaris Kayondo, said that his father revealed they have already secured his visa to India. Um, they are now buying and processing the tickets so that they can fly this uh, member of parliament to India for better treatment. Kayondo and the Kasita spokesperson Issa Sashito, who visited the bedridden MP, condemned the move by government to block his family's plan to seek further treatment. I am imagining that the situation under which Zake and the Honorable Chagurani are, if he was the son of the president, he was the son of the vice president, he was the son of the prime minister, the son of the speaker of the chief justice, would they treat those people here? If okay, that's fine. To the contrary, I think they would have flown them to any better facilities elsewhere for the urgent treatment that they need. Hello? Earlier in the day, there was talk that security officials were planning to storm Lubago Hospital to forcefully take Zaki to Mulago. The police deployed around the hospital. Politicians, including FDC's former president Kizabe CJ and members of Parliament's Human Rights Committee, visited Zake and MP Robert Chagulanyi, who is also admitted at the hospital. That uh, let us support Honorable Zake in his uh, condition. Can you imagine? In his condition, he was now requesting as members that we should actually talk, uh, help our brother Zake. Our colleague is not well at all. Therefore, government needs to be very serious. Those are the ones who are being prosecuted. This situation must simply end and the Ugandans must come together. This is the time. Ugandans come together to say enough is enough. By the time NTV left the facility, Zaki's family was meeting to discuss plans to fly him out. Ivan Chumchuguzi, NTV.